Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nilroy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. All right, check it. Y'all, check this out, man. I'm fishing in this spot today, right? Now, normally when I go fishing at the jetties, I go fishing at the Surfside Jetty. But if you look directly across the Surfside Jetty, there's another jetty called Quintana. Quintana Jetty, okay? So, I always wondered what the fishing was like at the Quintana Jetty. So, the thing I'm testing out today is the grass literally greener on the other side of the water because I'm going to check out if the Quintana Bay can produce some fish. You know what? I think I can. There we go. Here we go. Fish on, baby. Enjoy the vlog. Let go! Tell me if you knew Would you hold it above my head And say it's all for the best Yo, this guy look like he has a papa nose That's true A papa nose? Yeah pa Papa nose? Yeah Wow man, nice, can I take a picture? What? I didn't know they were here. Yeah, yeah. With shrimp? Yeah, light shrimp. Light shrimp? Amazing, man. Papanos. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Uh oh. Crossing line? No, I'm calling somebody else. Alright, y'all. So I just set up this guy right here. Linked up. Alright guys. <laughs> oh, Alright y'all, so I just got here and apparently Quintana Jet is on fire. Man, I've been here for like 10 minutes. They're picking up keep a trout, papano, bull red. So let's see if I can get one. Come on, let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. Let me show you my jetty setup. So I have my 7 inch bobber right here with a bobber stop, right? So when it hits the bobber stop, right there, it's gonna stop. B, so bobber stop, B, bobber, B. Now I don't know how to do uni to uni, so I just got a 175 pound swivel to 50 pound mono trouble hook with shrimp. Let's get it. You know what? I just realized I need to put a split shot. I forgot my split shot. Oh my gosh, so much bait. I forgot my split shot. Hold on, y'all. Wait. Oh, wait. I looked away for a second. But we're on something, y'all. Small, though. What is it? It is... Oh, that's a... Nice little poker. Oh, that's oh, a sand trout. Nice sand trout. All right, so here's the sand trout. Nice little specimen. Finally got something. Not what we're looking for though. There she goes. Yeah, we got her. Come on. It's a blue? I think this might be a blue, y'all. All right, y'all, so got a new species. Apparently this is called a leather jacket. I've never caught a leather jacket before. I wish it was a jack. So yeah, leather jacket. show you what we're working with. Uh, croaker. You know what? I'm going to keep him. You know, everything loves croaker.
You know what? I need to keep it. Oh. So we got the sand trout. There we go. Should I eat this and do sand trout versus Parker catch plane and cook? All right, y'all, so I'm back at home, back in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the catch segment of the episode and we're trying to do some cooking. Now, this catch, clean, and cook is gonna be something simple, right? Very basic, super basic. Don't try to be impressed by what I'm about to do, okay? I'm just trying to test out what's better, croaker or sand trout. I had croaker before, delish, okay? Had sand trout, delish, but what's better, all right? So I know um, croaker and sand trout, people use it for bait. Um, a lot of people just don't really eat it, but you're missing out. So we're gonna test out what's better, croaker versus sand trout, we'll see. I'm gonna keep it simple, keep it simple. Light salt, light butter, a little pepper, and that's it. And we'll see what's one. Blind test test as well. Let's clean it. All right, y'all, so first things first is that we're gonna get our croaker. So it's gonna be a challenge with a nine inch bubble blade versus my croaker. But we'll see if we can make it work. I think all fish fillet the same. So we'll see. So we'll just kind of slight angle here towards the head. I do everything micro, smaller than I normally do since it's such a small fish. We'll turn it, that, just work away. On the top of the spine of the fish, as so. So like I said, I know um, croaker is a very popular bait fish, and I can see why, because honestly, you know, croaker is so good, I don't blame fish for not loving croaker. Like, who doesn't love croaker? So yeah, I'm just kind of working my way along the top of that spine. Come back towards the bladder. But yeah, I think croaker are great for trout, redfish, like everything in the ocean likes croaker. Probably have to suck being such a delicious fish in the ocean, right? So we got that, clean out. Let's see if we can get a flay out of this. So once again, I'm just kind of pressing along my skin here. I'm just kind of slowly working away along the skin, flexing my knife slightly. Ah oh man, it's kind of, kind of hard y'all because it's such a small fillet. There we go, got to come up a little bit. And there we go. So that is our one miniature croaker fillet. All right, so next up y'all, we have our sand trout, a sand trout. I can tell you right now, like just feeling it, it feels kind of mushy. So I'm assuming that the meat will be the same. We'll see. So once again, I'm coming at an angle towards the head. Come back a little bit this way. And we'll just work our way along the top of the spine. Right above the spinal cord. Okay. Right past some pin bones. Still got it on the tail. Kind of work our way right above the skin. And there we go. Flex my knife a little bit upwards. And there is our sand trout filet. All right, y'all, so we got our cast iron skillet smoking hot on medium temperature. So like I said, I want to really taste the fish since I'm doing like a you know comparison. So we're gonna keep it real cute and simple with some pink salt and grounded pepper just a little bit just a little bit smidgen of um butter y'all got this spatula on amazon for like i think it was like 15 dollars for two of them apparently they're good for flipping fish we'll see i think make sure my butter is nice and easily spread don't want no hot spots in there 
croaker, trout, pepper, Alright y'all, so like I say, um, this is going to click super fast. Like I said, we're only going to click it maybe like a minute on each side. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Alright, that's it y'all. We don't want to overcook it. It's super thin. Alright, that's it y'all. So, um, let's prepare our plate. All right, y'all, so I'm at the table. It's time to do a little taste testing. You know what I'm saying? Taste testing. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, um, the reason I put like a little dab of pico, mango pico, and a lime to distinguish between which one is which, okay? Because um, to me, when you look at them, you know, all fish look the same once you cook them. So what I'm going to do is use my um, professional looking blindfold. Um, some people might refer to it as a mask. And I'm going to just like rotate my plate enough times that I don't know what I'm looking at, okay? So that's the plan. I wanna give a biased opinion for this. So let's move this out the way. All right, here we go, y'all. So try to get a visual. We'll put our blindfold on <clears throat> and we'll just test. So um, how did y'all like the video, man? I think the vlogs are, you know, pretty good. I think a lot of people have been noticing the additional effort I've been putting into my vlogs. Um, I hope the quality of the editing is improving. Um, I hope y'all enjoy like the audio. You know, I got like a little thing to get my B shot audio better. So I'm trying to step up my game, y'all, to make sure that you know y'all enjoy this content when you come visit my channel. Okay, I have no clue where I'm at, and I'm actually dizzy. So here's my fork. All right, so what we're gonna do is just find the first fish here. All right, All right so that's my first fish. Okay, All right, here we go. Mmm, okay. Mmm, a little firm. Mmm, slight fishy taste to it, you know? Not surprised when you talk about croaker or sound trout, but okay, okay. Mm, mm. Make sure none of my lips, y'all. Okay, let's try the other one. I don't know the other one gotta be over here. So this one, let's see here. Um, this one doesn't have so much of a fishy taste to it. The meat is softer, so I gotta taste both again. Hold on. So let me come out here, feel it around like I'm Ray Charles. Okay, let's test this one on the right. I can feel where the fish is at on this one. Let me taste this one again. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So not necessarily mushy, but kind of mushy. The flavor is really light, like really light, you know? All right, let me try this one again. On the right, this is my right, right? Yeah, I cannot see nothing. Okay, hold on. Mm. Um, okay, I'm going with the one on the right. The the meat is a little bit more firm. It has a little bit more flavor to it. The one on the left is more softer, mushy, really light flavor, like you can't really taste it. So that makes me think that my sand trout is on the left and the thing I'm picking and selecting is my croak on the right. Let's see. I forgot which one was supposed to be which. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me turn around. Ah, okay, okay. So I picked the one on the left, my Pico, my Pico. Remember, the Pico was the croaker, okay? The line was the sand trout. So I was right. So yeah, I definitely picked 
croaker or for sand trout. And um, both fish are good, like I say. Sand trout is very light, it's kind of mushy. Um, croaker is more firm, um, has a little bit more solid flavor to it. So, I know most people use these for bait, but if you get a nice size like croaker, it's worth the keep, you know what I'm saying? I wish I would've called a whiting to add a whiting to the mix. I'm gonna do that next time. Next time, right now, it's croaker, okay? So next time, it's gonna be croaker versus whiting. We'll see which one's gonna come on top. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog, man. And um, if you did enjoy the vlog, you know what time it is. Please, y'all, make sure to like this video. Put a lot of work into it. Just let me know that you liked it. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Um, Comment, I'll comment. Talk to me, I'ma talk to you back. Share the video with your friends and family. I'm trying to get, you know, more subscribers. Speaking of subscribers, Make sure to subscribe. The goal for 2021, try to get 10,000 subscribers. I'm about 7,000 short, but I think I can do it. Only with your support. It's been real, y'all. Peace.